Hi guys, I'm Ashley. I'm 25 years old and I'm from Ohio. I'm making this review due to the fact that when I was looking for answers regarding bronchiolar thermoplasty, there wasn't many out there. Um, I searched YouTube, all types of websites, there was nothing really regarding before and after on how you feel even during. Um, I have been a chronic asthmatic since the age of three and a severe allergy sufferer and I have atopic dermatitis which is eczema. Uh, my asthma was so bad growing up that I was unable to go to school. I had to be homeschooled. Um, I have been to every specialist I have known. Um, Cincinnati, Columbus, Cincinnati Children's, Columbus Children's at the point when I was a child and no one had answers for me. Um, I did pretty good on uh, Simbacort and Vanillin for about six years and then it just got to the point that I couldn't even walk to my mailbox. I felt like I was gonna die. Uh, the current pulmonologist I was going with, um, he did not care about my well-being. He just said, lose weight, lose weight, lose weight, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. He wasn't understanding that I literally can't even walk to my mailbox and I felt like I was going to die. Um, I have a four-year-old son and it got to the point that it was really hard to even care for him. And he was asking, oh, Mommy, what's wrong with you? Why, why are you sick? What's wrong? I found a critical care pulmonolo pulmonology specialist in the Dayton area and um, he ended up keeping me on Ventolin and Simicor and adding Spiri Verispamat for about five months. There was no difference. In, in those five months, I was on 20 milligrams of prednisone two times a day. Um, as you can tell, I'm still swollen from the prednisone effects. Um, we tried Zolaire injections and I did that for about five months and it made me completely worse. I was going to the hospital every three to four days a week getting the awful treatments because nothing else would open me up. And I wasn't seeing a big difference. And I would have these massively huge bruises on the back of my arms to the point that some lady asked me, she goes, honey, please get out of your relationship if he's beating on you. And I'm like, excuse me? She's like, your arms are so bruised up. She's like, are you being manhandled? And I'm like, no, it's from my injections I get in the back of my arms. Um, at that point, my pulmonologist said, Ashley, our next step would be bronchiolar thermoplasty. We fought for seven months for it to get approved. Um, I ended up getting an approval in February. February 27th was my approval. Um, I had to go to like an external hearing where it was me in a conference room with a pulmonologist, critical care specialist, and an RN nurse, and a witness of my choice, which was my mother, since she had been with me since day one fighting this disease I have. Um, my first BT was March 2nd, I believe, and it wasn't bad at all. I went in at 4.30 in the morning. I was home at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I will suggest buying a lot of halls because it literally will, your throat feels like it is on fire. Or take, you know, if you have acid reflux, please take your medication beforehand because it makes it worse. Um, then my second one was April 5th. I believe and uh, that one was absolute hell. I failed my uh, pulmonary function test where you had to breathe in this little machine about seven times. I still I never passed it and they still sent me home. Uh, I was sent home with no prednisone and I ended up getting to the point that I told my mom I feel like I'm dying. I literally feel like I am going to die. I got a hold of my uh, the assistant for my doctor and she called me in prednisone 50 milligrams for a week and I ended up taking that and I did okay. Uh, my third one was May, March, was it? Yeah, May 5th and um, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, that one was just like the first one. It was really easy. The second one was the worst one I have ever had in my life. 
Um, it has been about two months post BT and I don't see a big difference yet. Um, I still wake up feeling like I'm choking. Uh, I'm on Ventolin, Simbacort, QR 80 milligram, and I am on prednisone, and I am on, um, I am on, um, injections, prednisone injections, I had a brain fart, and I, there's nothing different, really, um, even some of my family members say they don't see a difference in my activity, uh, my doctor says I should already see a big improvement, and a lot of people that I have talked to in that office that has had it, they said they did not see an improvement until um, six months to a year after. So if you don't see a big improvement, don't be alarmed because everybody's body is different. Um, I will say it is not an easy procedure. Uh, it literally takes everything you have to get well and to feel halfway decent. I, I'm still wore out from it, I feel. Uh, I wake up and I'm just, I'm so exhausted from not sleeping good at night because I can't breathe. And it's just to the point that I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do at this point. Uh, my doctor wants me to try Nicola injections. I actually go um, in three days to see a allergy specialist. It took me six months to get in and he's the only one in my area that offers the Nicola injections. So I'm gonna go see him and see what he says. But I just wanted to make this video because when I was searching for answers with my bunket of thermoplasty, there wasn't many. There's not many reviews. And I will keep uploading videos regarding on how I'm feeling and updates. And um, it's just literally a nightmare. I, I mean, some people say they have great success from it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be one of those people, honestly. Um, my doctor says that I should already be on lower amounts of medications. I should already be, um, you know, basically off of my medications and losing a bunch of weight. And I've actually stayed the same weight for a year and a half. I've not gained or lost through all the surgeries and everything and all the prednisone that he's had me on and still on. And um, I just, I'm kind of disappointed, but I don't want to make this video for other people because it might do wonders for you. I think that I am such a severe case that it's not something that's going to work for me. So I'm hoping possibly the Nicola injections will help. Um, like I said, I go in three days to meet with a specialist on the 13th at 10.30 a.m. I will post a video after that uh, consultation with that doctor to see what he thinks will be okay. But um, I actually did a pulmonary function test the other day and I go on the uh, 15th to see what my results is if I have gained any type of success through the testing or if I'm still at the same um, I will actually post a video on that day too so everybody knows if it had gotten better or worse but if you have any comments or questions um, you know comment below this is actually my first video and I feel really awkward talking to my phone my neighbors are probably looking at me like what is she doing but um, like you said if you have any comments or questions comment below um, thank you